welcome back to Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie, and Heritage Ways is where, is where we honor our home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. We love the old ways, the old-fashioned ways. We're just drawn to that, and we're doing our best to put get closer to those ways as much as possible. We've moved from Middle Tennessee, where we lived all our lives, to Mid-Ohio Amish country. Welcome. Let's get started making something today that is a heritage item, a fermented item, fermented garlic. It is so delicious. It's almost like eating candy. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to show you how easy and delicious it is to make fermented garlic. It's a little dark under my tarp, my, can't, my awning, so I apologize for that, but I welcome you here to learn how to make fermented garlic. It is so healthy. Garlic in general, of course you know, is so very healthy for us. I purchased organic garlic for this job. This is what it looks like from a local big box store. Organic garlic in these little green uh, nettings. I bought four of these little packages, three bulbs, so I bought 12, uh, not bulbs, heads, 12 heads, so a head of garlic is the whole thing, and then a clove is what's going to be one piece, one piece, so it already smells so good. I have all of this garlic today, two ingredients garlic and then honey now i get a good raw raw honey this per local is best it's best for your allergies it's best to get it um you know because closer to home is best this particular garlic i mean this particular honey we bought in middle tennessee but it's actually from kentucky and we're now in ohio it's the best i can do for now so it's going to work all you do now i'm going to show you what to do tell you what to do and then i'm going to come back in about a week to two weeks and i'm going to show you um what it looks like tell you what it tastes like and how you can use it today and this is a jar that i had for a minute i've used this much i've used a quart already since um, the day before thanksgiving so this is uh, July right now and the day before Thanksgiving last year so this was gone a month ago I love fermented it. garlic very simple I'm simply going to um, now some people don't even take the peelings off but I don't understand that I'm going to peel all of this garlic and you can use non-organic but um, I, f I was able to find organic and that's fine I'm going to we actually have a video of the faster way to peel garlic, but I'm just showing you. I'm going to peel it, and I know some folks, um, this has got a bad spot on it. I'm just going to get that off. Some folks um, kind of smash it. I'm not even going to do that. I am going to just cut the tip off where it was, where the root was. You don't really have to do that either. But by doing so, instead of smashing it, by doing so, that's going to allow kind of an opening in the garlic. And I am simply going to just put all this garlic in the jar. Then I'm going to pour this honey on top. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do after that.
Okay, I had a helper. This is a daunting job. We did, as you saw, ended up smashing some, crushing, whatever you want to call it. And look at all this. Angel wings. Look at that. Angel That's wings. That's pretty. I don't know. It looks like angel wings. This is Little Miss Homemaker, if y'all don't know her. If this is the first video Hi. of ours that you've watched, Little Miss Homemaker. Hi, everybody. Our only daughter. We have five sons, one daughter, two daughters-in-law, a grandson, and a granddaughter. So Little That's Miss cool. Homemaker is a niece. I mean, an aunt. aunt. An aunt. Well, you're well, a, a niece, niece too. too. <laughs> okay. So here's what we do. I thought, now this is 12 heads. Um, I really thought it would fill us up here, but it ended up being about two, two and a fourth maybe, or maybe two and a half cups. Also, you can buy garlic already peeled if that's what you want to do. That's fine too. She's thinking, wait, what? Um, all right, what Where I'm going to do next. Yeah, well... It's uh, more expensive. I've taught her that the more um, the more work, the more prepared a, an item comes to you, the consumer, the more it's going to cost you. Because the more that they've done, the more that the comp the more that the manufacturer has done for you, then the more it's going to cost you. So, peeled garlic is going to cost more than unpeeled. All right. So what we're doing here is getting sticky. Is yeah, it is a sticky job. So I'm simply pouring, um, I'm pouring honey in here to cover the garlic. Use whatever honey you have or you can find. It's going to seep down in there. I'm just going to fill it all the way up. And then I'm going to... Tell you what, can you go get me a butter knife or something? Yeah, a butter knife would be good. Now, you know, there are so many benefits to gar um, honey, especially raw honey. There are so many health benefits. There are so many health benefits for garlic. You're not, thank you, you're not doing anything else except just... Um, Letting this mixture set on the counter for probably two weeks. Actually, not on the counter. No, wait. Yes, you're going to let this mixture set out on the counter for probably two weeks because before it's considered fermented. Now, what's going to happen is you, every day you're going to kind of want to make sure that your garlic um, cloves are immersed. They're going to float to the top sometimes. It's a sticky job. You want to lick it or what? No, thanks. Okay. Um, they're going to, I'm actually going to fill the thing with honey. They're going to float to the top. Yes, sir. You may have to go. She's going to lick it. She's going. You may have to, um, if you want to put, don't, I tried mm -hmm. putting, um, hmm. I tried putting a weight, like a, uh, fermenting weight, and all that did is settle to the bottom. So, Okay. My best result was to just go in every, however often, maybe two days, not more not more than two, um, one to two days, and just make sure, like, poke down your um, garlic just to make sure it's down under the honey, because you don't want it to mold. As long as it's down under the honey, it's not going to mold. As it starts to, starts to absorb, blah, 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 blah. As it starts to uh, take in that honey in the cells of the garlic, it's going to be heavier and it is going to settle to the bottom. But um, for a while, it's going to try to float to the top. So what I do at this point is I just um, put I use any kind of... I like this plastic because that way, um, you know, the metal sometimes... You don't want to, I don't, I don't want to use the metal canning lids. This is the PBA free um, plastic by ball leak proof. I don't like to use the metal lids when I'm fermenting or doing anything like that. And this is a one piece as well. So I'm just going to put it on there. I'm not tight. I'm just put it on there and then quarter turn around, just kind of loosen it. And it's going to, over the next couple of days, it's going to start, you're going to start seeing some bubbles come up. It's almost like um, 
it's almost like the garlic lets go of some of its juices because the honey becomes more um, uh, thin. A little bit more thin, not a lot. And so you're going to have the um, bubbles come up and then you need to burp it. You need to burp it. Just unscrew it and burp it. Let some of the gases and the air out. And um, that's it. So I'm going to come back with to you in a, maybe in a few days, but definitely in a week or two, and let you know what it looks like and how it did. Okay? And we're going to taste it for them. All right. So do you mind taking that inside? We'll see you in a couple of weeks. So do you mind cleaning all, throwing all this out in the forest for me, the peelings, the angel wings? Friends, Thank you. this is day three of my garlic. It's nighttime. This picture might not be very great. And let me turn on another light. Does that help? Um, I wanted to show you a picture tonight instead of waiting in the morning because some change will happen tonight. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, now, days two and three. Oh, do you see the bubbles? It's very pungent. Very pungent. Okay, uh, days two and three. What did I say? This is day three. Days two and three, basically, you just had... The garlic looking like regular garlic it's starting tonight to try to to, to uh, what do you like candy crystallize kind of it's starting to begin to I don't know how to say it other than it turns into almost like candied garlic but um, when I stir it the the um, honey is kind of thin, thinner than, see how it's, see, that's thinner than regular honey. Now, as it continues to do its thing, when it's finished, it'll, it'll be thick honey again. Don't ask me the science behind it, but, so what I'm doing now you don't necessarily have to stir it uh, daily. I'm just trying to make sure all the garlic's immersed. And I am kind of stirring it. But, you know, before when I did it, I kind of just turned it in the jar. But that can get the top messy. So, that's what it looks like. And it's still kind of risen to the top. So, this is day three. All right. Friends, this is day five. You can see the bubbles forming. If I can get it focused for you. Bubbles still forming. Uh, after I turn the camera off, I will take the lid off and just burp it. And I will just kind of make sure. I'll stir the garlic around just to make sure it's all immersed. It could mold if I don't do that. So day five. What we're looking for is basically garlic that looks crystallized or candied. Okay, friends, I'm going to say it's been roughly six weeks, but I can't remember the date of when I started this. I will tell you that um, it looks great, and I've actually been using it two or three times the past couple of weeks. The um, honey is actually thinner than... Um, it has been in the past, but not too much so. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I think it's just the garlic re um, releasing its juices. So it's just fine. I've been using it as time goes on. Um, and I just keep it in the pantry. I don't keep it in the refrigerator. But as time goes on, the garlic will actually start to crystallize even more. And you could just eat it almost like candy. A tart candy, but still so healthy. So many good benefits for this um, fermented garlic. Uh, just just remember, I mean, the garlic itself, the honey itself is so beneficial. But here are just some ways that I thought of just off the top of my head that I use it. 
Uh, I put honey just the other night on a plain wheat dinner muffin. You can put it on savory muffins. I wouldn't recommend on sweet muffins, but hey, go ahead if that's what you want to do. Um, fresh sourdough bread or any kind of sourdough or any kind of bread. I put, um, use it as a sweetener in my pizza crust. I use it as a sweetener in my pizza um, sauce that I make homemade or any other sauces where I want a garlicky and I also want a sweet flavor. Um, all kinds of recipes that you can use the garlic and the honey. Um, take a spoonful when you're sick and to build immunity, a spoonful of the honey and the garlic. Um, any way that you would use garlic or a savory honey, you could use this fermented garlic. My very favorite way is to put it on my favorite bagel build. <laughs> I use an everything bagel, preferably Dave's brand, but I'm going to start making my own one day very soon, I hope. So an everything bagel and then cream cheese, toasted very well, cream cheese, um, sprinkle the uh, everything mix, what's it called, uh, everything but the bagel the seed mix, and um, pecans, and uh, then drizzle the garlic and the honey on top. And that's just my very favorite way to eat a bagel, and it's my favorite way to eat honey, this fermented garlic. So I hope this helped you out. If you have questions, just ask me below, um, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.